everyone welcome to my channel so today I have my sister here with me and we are doing our boxycharm base box sister versus sister for April 2022 now, if you're unfamiliar with the BoxyCharm base box, it is a monthly beauty subscription where you get things like makeup, skincare, hair care. And in the base box, you get five full-size beauty products for $27.99 a month. You do get to make a selection for one of them and then the other four are a surprise. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina, my sister's name is Rachel, and we are Subbox Lovers. We love to share subscription boxes with all of you Subbox Lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, beauty videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join this Subbox Lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in the boxes. <music> So this is going to be the paid for sister versus sister version of the unboxing. I did do PR unboxings early in the month for both of the base and the premium boxes. And I do a try on in that video. So if you want to see them try it on, but today it's just the sister versus sister base box edition. All right. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So this month's theme is a boxy spring revival. It comes with this little card and it has all the products that you received on the back with a brief description as well as their retail value. And then in the bottom, it has your variation, which I have variation 88 and I also have variation number 88. So this is a wah, wah month. It's fun when we get different boxes, but today we're just gonna go through everything together. All right, so the first thing that I'm pulling out that we both got, well, we, we both got all of these things. I don't know why I said that, is the QMS Meta Cosmetics Epigen Depuff Pollution Shield Eye Serum, which retails for $110. This is more of like a premium, BoxyCharm premium type of product, yeah. I would think. Bougie. Look, like it's got German on the back. Augenserum. Oh my god. So it comes in like a thing like this. It's got a little. Oh my god. Whoa, that's I was going to say it has a pump, but it has one of these like eye cushion things, which how does Ooh, it? it's kind of, it's like stone. Rump. That's not stone, Rachel. Wait, no, like actually that's plastic. <laughs> Are we sure? That's like some type of plastic. That is okay. not a stone. It's plastic. It's cold though. That's why I is think I thought stone? it was All Right, let's read about this. Um so it says that I this think is it's a stone. <laughs> This is a protective eye serum with epigenetic peptide, depuffing actives, and a cool tip ceramide ceramic. Ceramic. <laughs> ceramic applicator for an awakened youthful look. Okay, so like we were both wrong because ceramic is not technically stone. No, but I was in the right direction. Yeah, so. you were. It does feel really nice. I actually really like this. Um, yeah. I'm excited to try it. My under eyes are really sensitive to eye creams though, and sometimes they get like red bumps if it doesn't like it. So hopefully that won't be the case. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this with the ceramide, um, <laughs> stop. um, if you put this in the free, well, not freezer, but fridge. the fridge, it would yes. be really nice in the morning. Yes. We'll have to do a little girl self care spa. <laughs> so the next item that we both received is by Chella. It's their divine purpose eyeshadow palette and it retails for $35. Um, it kind of shows the shades on the back, but we're going to go ahead and open it up. So this is what all of the shades look like. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like these four. Yeah, I Because agree. I'm more of a neutral girl. And then there are some that could be fun to play with, especially in the summer if you put a blue pop. I know some people like to use those as like an eyeliner, eyeliner or something. Yeah. Um, so it has potential. I don't know about the quality. We're gonna go ahead and swatch it. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. They actually look pretty pigmented, especially the uh, glitter one and the blue. So here's what they look like on my hand. The darker shades and then the blue show up. The glitter is like shiny, but it, only in a certain light. So yeah, and honestly, with the, like a shimmer shade, sometimes you do need the brush to pack in that pigment. So that might be why. So obviously, mm -hmm. applying with fingers and applying with a brush is very, very different. So they might apply better on the eyes. Mm -hmm. I do like it. I don't. I don't think the pigmentation is horrible. It's not like oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. But I do mm -hmm. agree with. I really like those four shades. Mm -hmm. The other shades you could kind of maybe do like a sunset with the um, oh, yeah. yellow and the. Um, the gold. orange goldy kind of color because mm -hmm. um, one of them is more yellow the other one's more gold and you could do you could do that with the blue even if you wanted to do a colorful look so I do think mm. that there are options there and I think it is um, a fun little palette yes I agree next up we have a product from Aceology and this is their detoxifying treatment mask which retails for $69 now 
I know there was one repeat product in the box and I believe that this is it because both of us got an email saying that, hey, you're gonna get a repeat product. And then they think because of that, they gave us $12 in the shop to spend. We didn't end up using it. They had some good stuff in the shop, but I think you end up still having to spend like shipping and stuff. So it's like, you have to spend money to use the reward and it's like, well, I'll just use this or put this in a giveaway. So it was like, I don't know. I don't know how I, I, don't know how I feel about the, the credit thing. It's yeah. not bad. Like, I don't think it's bad, but let me know. Do you, did you guys, did you get a repeat? Did you use the credit? I would love to hear. So this is what it looks like outside of the box. So this is a supercharged health retreat for congested skin, working to draw out blackheads and impurities and clear clogged pores with skin loving charcoal. The charcoal's antibacterial and purification powers are unrivaled with any other detoxifying ingredient when it comes to extracting sebum and dirt. And the antioxidant laden botanicals balance and protect the skin for a poreless and flawless texture. I mean, this mask sounds great, but I kind of already have my like favorite detoxifying mask. So I don't know, I might put this one in the giveaway. I haven't decided because I don't even remember if I kept the one when I got it before. Oh. But okay. I do love a detoxifying mask, yeah. not gonna lie. I'm personally not mad at the repeat. It's definitely something I'm gonna use. It's a good quality product. Um, I haven't used the first one yet, though I haven't gotten around to it. So I might not like it, but it's, aside from not having used it yet, it's something I will use, so I'm not mad at it. The next item that we both received is by Item Beauty by Addison Ray. It's their Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara, and it retails for $15. Katrina actually received this in her PR box, so we already have it out of the box. So this one will go in a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's super cute. If you guys know me, you know I love blue. So this is just a beautiful mascara. Let's see what the wand looks like. It's an itty bitty wand. That's and tiny. I, I remember really liking this. Is this more of like a natural mascara? I do try this on in my base box try on video. Um, it gives you more of that natural like separating the lash thing. What I will say, if you're doing a bold look, I'm not sure this is the best mascara just because it's not gonna give, like, you have a bold liner or something, it's gonna get hidden. Mm -hmm. But this would be really, really pretty with a natural look. Was it good on the under eye yeah, lashes? Yeah, because of that small brush, it's really, really nice on the bottom lashes. And last but not least, we have this here. This is from Lucky Chick and this is their liquid eyeshadow. Oh, this is liquid? Okay. Oh, it's eyeshadow. Why did I think this was a lipstick the entire time? Oh my gosh. I feel really stupid. The whole time I was thinking that this was lipstick because of the box, but this is liquid eyeshadow, which I'm not gonna like. <laughs> this retails for $22 and is brand new to BoxyCharm. It's a metallic pink eyeshadow. Okay, yeah, that's, um, it's, mm. it's pretty, but I just don't use liquid shadows because mm -hmm. I have oily eyelids. And if I use this, like, I mean, I guess to be fair, you could use this as a base and put a powder on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that case, it'd be really pretty. It is a, actually, to be honest, the, pa the colors are really pretty. I was about to say, the packaging is really cute. And it is a really pretty color. I personally am not going to use something like this, though. And they even make it look like a lipstick. Yeah. That's, I don't want to say that's annoying, but it actually looks like a lipstick in, in a tube, which I don't know. I haven't, I might actually keep this. I kind of like it, but I just like, I would need to put a powder on top. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You can decide. When I'm going to go ahead and put mine in a giveaway for one of you guys because it's just not something I'd use, but I do. I think it's a cool product. Like, love the packaging, love the color. All right. Now, we normally do ratings of the boxes. We're going to do a rating today, even though it's the same box. So we'll see. I think our rating might be a little bit different, but we'll see. So if we like a product and we're going to use it, we will give it a point. If we don't like it, not for us, zero points. And then a half a point for products where we kind of need to test it out a little bit more. We're not really sure if we're going to like it. So I'm going to give the QMS eye thing a point, the item beauty mascara a point. I'll give the Chella beauty palette a point and the mask a point. And then I'm going to do zero points for this because it's not something I'll use. I think a four out of five is the wrong score for this though. Yeah, I don't I was know what I was to just say, doing. I'm definitely you not going to You know what? I'm changing this. I'm changing this. Point, point. Half point, half point, this is a three point box for me. That's I think more realistic. Mm -hmm. I'm not, none of this is exciting. I mean, the QMS is exciting. Yeah. Okay. And the item beauty is exciting, even though I already have it. So those are the only two things that I'm like, wow, this is really exciting. Okay, you do your rating. You're a lot nicer than I'm about to be. Okay. So let's, <laughs> we don't be mean, but um, I'm gonna give the QMS a point. I'm gonna give the mask a half a point because I already own it. And I just like, Fair. it's not super exciting to get something I just got last month. Um, Did you get it last month? Was it last month? I don't it know. was a repeat. Either way, I still yeah. I already have it. I'm gonna give this a half a point just because I think I'm gonna use it and try it out. But I like more length, like volumizing. Um, I don't know ones with bigger brushes, just that give me more. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not a beauty guru, but half a point for this. Um, 
half a point for the eyeshadow palettes. I like some colors in there, but I don't see myself using it that often. And then zero points for the um, eyeshadow. I think it's a cool product, but I'm not going to use it personally. So what was that? A 2.2 2 out of? 2.5. Was that a 2.5? 1, two. 1, oh yeah, yeah 2.5. Okay. So we're pretty close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it's not super exciting, but the products in here are good. Yeah. So definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you agree with our ratings of the boxes? What did you get in your box, Charm Base Box? We would love to hear. Normally we get different boxes, mm -hmm. um, which is a lot more fun of a video, but it's okay. It doesn't happen all the time. So definitely let us know what you guys got in your boxes, and we'll see you in our next video.